It's Friday, May 15th, 2015. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. More than 2,500 candidates will be eligible to participate in UTEP's spring commencement ceremonies at the Don Haskins Center tomorrow, Saturday, May 16th. The ceremonies will celebrate the commitment, hard work, and efforts all graduating students poured into their work while at the university. One such student is Theron Nicholson, who will graduate with a Master's in Rehabilitation Counseling. He was the first student in UTEP's Master of Rehabilitation Counseling program to explore art therapy at the Counseling Center of Expressive Arts. By shadowing Luis Cano, El Paso's only licensed professional counselor with a Master's degree in art therapy, Nicholson witnessed how drawing, painting, and sculpting was used to help clients experiencing depression, anxiety, attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, and autism spectrum disorder. Nicholson's motivation to help others in this way is in part due to his own childhood. He was born with a high arched palate, which impaired his ability to clearly articulate certain words. Too afraid to speak, Nicholson completely stopped talking when he was three years old. His grandmother encouraged him to communicate through pictures rather than words. Students participating in commencement, as well as their families and friends, can find out what is allowed and prohibited at the ceremonies by checking out the information booklet at utep.edu slash commencement. The 2015 Conference USA Outdoor Track and Field Championship is underway at Kid Field and goes through Sunday. 13 schools with 23 teams, including UTEP's men's and women's track and field teams, will vie for all conference honors. The events are free for UTEP students and open to the public. For a schedule of events and ticket information, visit utepathletics.com. Parking information for both the track and field championship and commencement can be found at onthemove.utep.edu. Those attending commencement ceremonies are encouraged to park north of the Don Haskins Center. Most of the parking for the track and field championship will be near Sun Bowl Stadium and Kid Field. Before the semester ended, more than 1,000 UTEP students enjoyed the all-new 2015 Midnight Breakfast Up All Night at the Union. The semi-annual tradition began at 9 p.m. Tuesday, May 12th and continued through 9 a.m. Wednesday. The goal was to provide new ideas, relaxation techniques, and activities in a location with more space. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!